In problem number two, you will need to calculate uh, uh, confidence interval uh, to estimate uh, mean or um, uh, proportion. Uh, and uh, there are three different cases possible. The first case when uh, standard deviation of population is known. Uh, second case, uh, standard deviation of uh, uh, population is unknown. Everything is based on the sample. And uh, the third case is uh, estimation of uh, the uh, proportion. In the first case, uh, you use uh, uh, standard normal distribution. In the second case, uh, you need to use uh, student's distribution. And in the third case, uh, you need to use, again, standard normal distribution. In this case, uh, we have a group of 10 men subjected to a stress uh, situation. The mean number of heartbeats uh, per minute was 126. And the standard deviation was uh, 595 uh, percent confidence uh, uh, interval of the true uh, mean. So this is estimation of the mean. Uh, standard deviation of population is unknown. We have a standard deviation of the sample. Uh, and uh, the um, uh, sample size is less than uh, 30. So this is the second, uh, the second case. Okay, so let's uh, uh, let's put uh, everything we know. Uh, the n is equal to ten uh, degrees of uh, freedom. Since we are going to use students' distribution, this is equal to ten minus one, and uh, x bar is uh, uh, is just one twenty six. Okay, s the standard deviation of the sample is equal to uh, four and uh, uh, our confidence is 95 percent so our uh, alpha alpha is equal to uh, one minus 0 0.95 and our alpha alpha over 2 it is uh, equal to alpha divided by uh, 2 so our t alpha over 2 so which cuts that uh, area it is uh, it is equal to t distribution inverted to tail but if you are using two tail function you need to use uh, 0 0.05 in this case uh, degrees of freedom nine and done uh, nice positive value value 2.26 uh, it automatically automatically uh, takes 0 0.05 and splits it into two tails and find such a t uh, value so which uh, cuts like that uh, area 0 0.025 from each uh, end okay and uh, we can use uh, uh, t inverted uh, for uh, this but this is going to give us negative uh, value we don't want that negative value we are going to take it uh, positive okay. no sorry i forgot i forgot the uh, degrees of freedom of course it's nine perfect as you can see absolutely same absolutely same value absolutely same value whatever you like you can use the uh, total uh, function but be careful in this case you just need to use alpha okay okay we are ready to go uh, we can let's say uh, insert new symbol okay and let's maybe center it and let's calculate let's calculate the right boundary it is uh, equal to x bar plus uh, t alpha over uh, t alpha over 2 uh, multiplied multiplied by standard uh, deviation and uh, divided by uh, squared root squared root of 10 this is our sample size okay okay so let's maybe take this uh, value fix it maybe let's fix this value as well i'm pressing f4 and let's copy this and let's find the left boundary and 
we'll just put minus there. Didn't copy paste the bracket, but it did it for me. It did the bracket, which I was missing here when I was copy pasting. I think I just didn't, I didn't uh, select it. Uh, but uh, Excel is smart. Uh, it finished my uh, mathematical expression. Uh, done. So this is the uh, confidence uh, interval. I can say that uh, my mean, based on this information. Uh, my mean with 95% uh, confidence uh, is going to be within this uh, interval. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's what you will need to do in uh, problem number two. Yeah, one of those uh, uh, three cases, you will need to uh, calculate uh, confidence interval for the given uh, confidence. Uh, and let's move to problem number uh, three.